Good morning. My name is Walter Ross. I come to you serving at the Greater Acquaintance Baptist Church, serving under the armor Pastor Kevin Wilkes. I come to you, David, to deliver this Father's Day message. It's an honor and a privilege to do so. So before I start, let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, thank you so much for the privilege of delivering this message. I pray now for this moment to be your mouthpiece and that you would prepare hearts to be receptive and that you have that your name would get the glory and the honor. I thank you for what you have already done and what you shall continue to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's um start with scripture. Scripture being coming from Proverbs um chapter twenty three. Verse 22 and 24. 24 says, Listen to your father who gave you life, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Verse 24 says, The father of the righteous will greatly rejoice. He who fathers a wise son will be glad in him. The role, the title is The Role a Father Should Play in a Child's Life. This uh, Father's Day message was kind of like a tough one for me. And it's oftentimes tough because I'm such a critic of my own fatherhood. I like to think that I'm a good father. You know, but the more I think about it, you know, even though my daughter's grown and everything like that, you know, uh... I still have much to learn about being a father. Oftentimes for most fathers, Father Day, Father's Day is sometimes a time of guilt. A time when we think about what we have done. We think sometimes we sh or we think sometimes what we should have done. It's possible some fathers might think the way I think, you know. And so let me just share this with you, that one of the profound father problems is the lack of fathers in families and their lack of, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, and their lack of absence. And not being the fathers that they're called to be. You know, missing fathers in the home. Now, I don't suggest that a child can be raised without a father. I do not suggest that it's absolutely necessary for that to take place. But I do suggest that our communities are in the predicament that they are in and our neighborhoods are falling apart right now because of the lack of fatherhood. No, I looked at something where it said like one out of every six children is born without knowing where their father is. Not only they can't find him or don't know where he or don't even know where he is, you know. And you know, this is not just a poor thing. But um middle class fathers are not doing so well either. Study shows that middle class fathers average one to two encounters daily with their children. Each of those encounters lasts in ten to fifteen seconds. That's almost thirty seconds a day. That's almost like they saying it's like they get the, you know. That's almost like they saying, say, hey, dad, bye, dad. Good morning, dad. Good night, dad. That's like seeing them only twice. Two encounters, that's not cool. Or at least for those that have their fathers in their lives. Millions of children all over this country are suffering from the lack of fathers. And there's millions of fathers who are living a life of guilt because... They realize that they don't do not have what they don't don't think what they what they should have done, and they've not been in the places that they should have been. And because of this, there's tremendous guilt. So much so that we allow our guiltness to take us over. So not only are we not there, but we are allowing our guilt to run us away from our children. In such a way that we just totally disappear. 
You know, and there are some fathers that choose to be invisible. Rather than deal with fatherhood. Fathers, we shouldn't have to become ghosts in our kids' lives. It's unacceptable to start all over again and be like, well, I messed up over there. I'm going to leave it over there. I messed up with that over there. I'm just going to leave it over there. I'm going to leave it over here and start over right here. No. Don't leave your responsibility in the hands of other people. Understand that the child needs the fathers. Fathers are important. Fathers, you need to know that your children need you. And regardless of what society says, and regardless of what anybody tells you, there's a deep longing inside of your children that can only be felt when they come in contact with you. Like it or not, a father can have a tremendous impact on the lives of his children. And most of the time, fathers are unaware of how powerful he is. Very, very unaware of it. Oftentimes, the father can be chasing dollars or doing this so that when he has no idea how important his presence is. I've done it. I've been guilty of it. Constantly working, going out, this and that and the other. But all of that is not important to my own child. And so oftentimes what we do is, man, that we get so involved in being the provider, we miss the fact that there is something far more important that we need to be providing. Now, mothers, if you think that a father's role is not important, you are sadly mistaken. And I want to suggest to you that even though you are not with the father of your kids, even if he's somewhere else, you keep the doors open. So that at least the child, that child, even if you don't like him anymore, let that child have a relationship with the father. And understand that you can't teach him how to be a man. It takes a man to do that. If, 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 it's, if it's a son, if you have a son, I tell you, I tell you, if you have a son, you, you can teach him, I mean, you can, as a mother, you can teach him how to be a good guy, but you can't teach him how to be a man. He needs a man to come alongside him that he can look at and say, that's what a man looks like. You know, that's, that's, that's the other half of Proverbs verse 24. He who fathers a wise son will be glad in him, which is, like you say, he needs a man to come alongside him that he can look at and say, that's what a man looks like. And don't be upset that you lose that. Don't be so angry and vilified in your spirit that you would block the father from his own child because it does the child no good. Well, you say he ain't no good. The man ain't no good. He was good enough. He was good enough for you to have that baby with him. So you, so you need to figure out to be dead to that stuff and be alive to the life of that father child relationship he might not be the same man he was when he was with you people people can and do change everybody ain't the same old Joe the Lord got a hold of you maybe he can get a hold of Joe The Lord might have touched his heart by now. Some of you might just have fathers out there that just don't know how important it is to be, how to be in fathers. But give them time. Fathers, there is nothing more important than to be in your child's life. Know that children need your blessing and your encouragement. Bless your children. 
Blessing the way Jesus did. Here's another scripture for you. Mark, Mark uh, chapter 10, verse 16. And he took them up, up in his arms, put his hand upon them, and blessed them. You don't have to create a preacher to give a blessing. You are a father. And every father has a blessing for their children. It's a simple action. You just look them in the eye. You just look them in the eye. Put your hands on them. And just say, you have my blessing. You have my support. You have my love. You have my unconditional love. You have my everything. Bless your children, no matter how old they are. Just put your arms around them and tell them you love them. Just a hug. Tell them I'm proud of you. I trust you. What did it cost to do that? It don't take much to please a child. When was the last time you just got in the car and just took your child for a ride? Hey, heck, I don't even drive a car. Everybody know me. I don't even drive a car. But best, best believe my child was everywhere with me and on, on the bus, on the train or whatever like that. And I was riding. We was, we was everywhere. And she enjoyed that. Because she was with me. A tear. You don't need to you be transparent. Sometimes let your kids see that you cry. Don't don't go away and hide. Let them see you cry. It's powers in your tears. You ain't gotta be hard the time all the time. See, that's another that's a, that's a guilt I got right there. That's another guilt about me I got right there. My child ain't never seen me cry. I'm being so hard all the time, trying to just bring her up in the world. She ain't never actually seen me cry. And I'm sorry for that. Dantasia Richards, I'm sorry for that. The same way I'm also sorry for just working and everything like that, I'm sorry for that. Just go to that kid that you think don't love you and just say, I'm sorry. I mean, that's all it takes. I'm sorry. What's so difficult for you to say those two words? You know, my father, God rest his soul. He, I mean, he died, uh, you know, like, I'm, I mean, man, he died when I was young. He died when I was young. He died when I was nine going on ten. But, you know, I got a good memory from when I was in my, of my childhood vividly. And one thing I can tell you what my father did, I think he did this when I was, I was seven. He sat me on a bunk bed. You know, that's when bunk beds was popular. He sat me on a bunk bed. He sat next to me. And he said to me when I was seven years old, he said, son, you don't know what happened between me and your mother. But let me tell you, it's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son. Do you know, do you have any idea what that means to me? What that meant to me? Do you have any idea what that did to my soul to know that my dad, my father, Walter Lee Dean, singer, know that my dad had come to the conclusion that it was Things that he could have done better. And said to me, his son, son, I'm sorry. When was the last time you said I'm sorry? <laughs> when was the last time you asked for forgiveness? From your own child. You know. I'm going to leave you with this. Men. If you will speak into the lives of your children. I don't care how bad it is in their life. They will remember that. Uh, that blessing. That you gave them. 
that blessing will become alive in their lives. They'll begin to walk in that blessing. They'll begin to live in that blessing. They'll begin to talk in that blessing. I'm talking about the power of the spoken word of the father into the life of their child. You go somewhere and you find that daughter or that son and speak into their lives. You tell that child that nothing will separate them from your love. You tell that child and they remember that and they will come to themselves. They'll remember that and remember that blessing you gave them for a long time. Trust me. Because remember this and I tell you. Like I said, I'm going to leave you with this. It's important for a father to have a role in his child's life. Thank you all for listening to me today. Appreciate this message. Appreciate and hope that you take this message in that I gave you. And just know that being a good father is everything. And that knowing that being in your child's life is a tremendous, honorable, good blessing. Thank you all. May God bless you. May God keep you. Hope you all enjoy Father's Day. And everyone, stay blessed and beautiful. Thank you.